So, I just got back from seeing One Piece Film Gold in theater, and I wanted to share my thoughts of the movie with you guys. Now, I will be talking briefly about the dubbing in this. Now, the dubbing was relatively good, I'll give it that. It's almost great. It, is that even a thing? Whatever. It's almost great, but the intro scene when Gil Tesoro is singing with Karina and just all of that, oh my god. Me and my cousin were laughing at how bad it sounded. None of those people know how to sing. If you're gonna have characters sing, get voice actors that know how to sing. So, but besides for that, it was relatively good. The voices were fine. I wish they could have made Zoro and Sanji and all that. I wish they could have made them sound a little bit different as there there been a two year time skip. But no, they didn't do that, so whatever. Now another thing that I did not like very much was that the movie not the I would call it uh, I can't think of anything else I didn't like. So what 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 about the rest of the movie? The animation is 10 out of 10. I have no problem with it. But there were there were a couple things with background like with background characters looking a little off. But besides for that, it was relatively good. Really enjoyed it. Now, what you guys need to understand is that the fights in the movie were amazing. But I was not a fan of that of Zoro being like a dandel in distress like. What, if he got his badass moment at the end, like, they gave Zoro extra badass. Zoro had, like, one or, Zoro had, like, five badass things to make up for all the time they wasted with him being captured by Gilda and Zoro, but it was still kind of annoying. Now, a thing that I did like, to a degree, was the subplot with Karina and Nami. I found it very interesting, and it is nice to hear more about Nami adventures as a burglar because we know she was a burglar for like 14 years. We know that, so it's very curious as to what happened. Ah, that's a popcorn stuck in my throat. No, but it's very curious as to what happened during her time as a cat as a burglar. So that was very interesting, and. I will note that I'm a Nami fan. Like I actually like Nami more than Robin. Like she's up there in my top five favorite Straw Hat. And there was a lot of emphasis on Nami in this movie, and I really liked it. Nami got some great moments in this movie, just com comedic wise, and I think some pretty just cool, like decently badass moments, and that really surprised me. Nami's not normally the badass character, but she had a couple badass moments in this movie. Even if it was just dialogue, she still, they, there were still a couple shots of her when she was speaking that were really badass, so I liked that. Um, Robin, Zora, Brooke, the entire crew were all great. We're all great. I will note there's a little bit of a lack of chopper. Chopper really didn't really do much, which was very disappointing. Brooke didn't do a ton. I mean, Brooke and Chopper were kind of just there, but yeah, that was a little bit disappointing. But on to more badass thing, Sabo and Rob Lucci cameo. All the cameos were great. I mean, the entire theater was just freaking out when we saw Koala, and then we just all went back to crazy when we saw Sabo. Like, we were all just like, no way! Like, we all knew it was gonna happen, but we just gave in to the hype of seeing Zabo on the big screen. Also, his fight with Rob Lucci, visually stunning, great fight. Zabo's dialogue and that his English dub voice actor was <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Zabo sounded great. Adult Zabo sound great. I cannot wait for them to get to, to just Rosa in the anime. I need more English Sabo. He sounded good. Uh oh. Gotta calm down. Gotta calm down, One Piece. Okay. Another great thing about this movie was Grant the story as, as a villain. His backstory was kind of unclear, but apparently there was this woman. Either like a sister, a friend, a wife. We're not really sure what, but they really care. 
I, I would assume he loves her. It appears there was this woman he was in love with. And she was captured and sold to the Celestial Dragon. And he was always getting beaten up. He didn't have enough money. And he did all this, like, God money complex. It's very interesting. And I really liked it. Once again, the movie was hilarious. I, I feel the need to mention that periodically throughout the review. No, but... Grand Destroyer is dealing with a great... The Gear Force cameo when Luffy... Luffy is not in Gear Force for long. I will say that I expected more Gear Force. Not really. He did like one conga and like a Leo... Some kind of Leo Bazooka-like thing. I forgot what Luffy called it. But yeah, that was really, really badass. All the Monster Trio moments. Zoro, Kanji. All badass. I don't have nothing else to say besides briefly touching on the comedy. The comedy was great. I can't even get into There was a lot of good stuff with Nami. Because in the casino part, there was a lot of good stuff with Nami. There was also a lot of good stuff with just every character. They were all great. I mean, I, I can't... I'm still kind of messed up because I just saw it and I haven't had much time to think about it. But yeah, great movie. Don't have much to say on it. It was funny. The intro. Just the intro to the movie was great. It was a little long. I thought it dragged a teeny bit at certain parts. Certain things were kind of like, okay, this is just this is just there to make the movie take longer. But there was this twist. The twist with them turning like turning like turning off the power and then making the water come through the pipe through the gold was coming out was great. The movie was perfect, was amazingly written, had great comedy. However, the final question is, how does it compare to Film Z and Strong World? And this may just me be fanboying. I may be a little biased, you know, but you know what, guys? This is my favorite One Piece movie. I love this movie. It had, it had the entire crew but it also had cameo from my, some of my favorite characters. It had cameo from Stabo, I think one of my and Koala, which are some of my favorite. Well, Koala is not one of my favorites, but Stabo is. And it had cameo from just Akainu. It had cameo from uh, Rob Lucci. Had a brain fart there, but I mean, it's just it's an amazing movie. It really is, and it personally my favorite One Piece movie. I loved it. I had heard it wasn't very good, but I think it's the best One Piece movie. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below on One Piece Film Gold. I'm sorry I wasn't using the green screen. I honestly would never get around to doing it if I used the green screen. I'm going back to school tomorrow. I'm going to have work to make up. I'd be busy. So I would never get to use the green screen and do a ton of fancy editing. And I really wanted to get this out there to you guys. So tell me your thoughts. On One Piece Film Gold in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more One Piece videos. And it's One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day. Check out my Facebook and follow me on Twitter. The link to those will be in the description box down below. And of all else, guys, have a great day.